You rock with me, the one only DJ Jerrica. Now, before I get started, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, make sure you like and comment below for much, much more. Now, to get into today's subject, okay, um, it looks as if Lonnie Love actually, allegedly, actually did get Tamar Braxton fired from The Real. Now, recently, Comedy Hype, I know you guys know that channel, it's an amazing channel. Make sure you guys check out and support that channel. They did an interview with Cookie Hall, who is also a comedian, also a comedic writer for Lonnie Love, and also a close friend, former close friend of hers, who stated, okay, that L Lonnie Love actually told her directly that she was trying to send out emails to help Tamar Braxton be considered to be fired, okay? Uh, now, check out this clip from Comedy Hype where she goes into it, and then I'm going to tell you guys what I think about the situation. Interesting thing in terms of um, with Lonnie in competition or people in her same space, if you mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the Braxton sisters end up getting removed off the reel. People accused that it was Lonnie. Um, yeah, well, she told me she, she was going to try to get her off the show. She said uh, that she only wanted to be the only ghetto girl on the show. And she was trying to get rid of her off the show. She showed me an email and she read it back to me. One of the things she said, I, not, don't quote me verbatim or whatever, but it was to the effect of Tamar had just got on Dancing with the Stars. Okay. So being on Dancing with the Stars, she missed 52 episodes of The Real. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was 52. And... Um, she was pointing out to the network where if she missed 52 um, tapings and the ratings haven't changed or they getting better, we really don't need her. And then she pointed out that the fact that when Tamar got hurt on Dancing with the Stars, mm -hmm. she was pointing out, I don't know if she, she was emailing the network, pointing out the fact that she would be an insurance liability because she was hurt. So she wasn't good a good fit for the show anymore. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So she, I know she specifically can't get her fired, but you can influence stuff by pointing out things. You see what I'm saying? And because she was pointing those things out that may have influenced them to get rid of Tamar, because she told me she wanted to be the only ghetto chick on the show. So. Yeah. She told, so Lonnie told you that. Oh, yeah, she told me that. I only want to, so, I mean, that's probably why she quit talking to me. She only want to be the only ghetto person on the show. And people can say um, that I'm bitter. No, I'm not bitter. I'm not, I'm telling you, ask me a question, I'm giving you an answer. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, America, and nobody else, because I'm too old to, t not to, to not tell the truth. I'm too old to tell a lie. You see what I'm saying? I done told lies before. Don't get me wrong. Like I said again, I ain't perfect. But that's not a lie. Mm. Yeah, Lonnie would end up uh, denying those allegations. Oh, yeah. By saying, who writes letters? Who sent this? Let's talk it out. Stop going on every other show. You know you want to. And that's what uh, she was responding to. to well, when she says there. stop writing letters, um, who writes letters? That was in a response to uh, a text message that was sent to Tamar. Um, a comedian friend of mine, we were happened to be talking about it. Um, I said, you know, we brought it up and I said, yeah, she, she had something to do with it. She wanted her off that show. They're emails now, they're not letters. At the end of the day, it's a bunch of letters that's being emailed. <laughs> yeah. That's how that kind of came about. Yeah, that's how wow. the letters, who writes letters? I heard now y'all heard that man, okay? So that's, just, that's crazy, but you know, for me it's believable. Um, I just feel as if Lonnie Love, the continuation of always talking about this, uh, the subject on why Tamar was being fired and everything else, and she felt like she, it just seemed like she worked so hard, you know, to cover her butt to make sure that nobody noticed that she could possibly been involved with her firing. Now, according to the sources, as you can listen to as well, uh, Cookie also stated that, you know, the other three, four girls that's on the set, they, you know, they're like a lost deer in headlights. They don't know what's going on. But if you really listen to Lonnie Love's actual interview with The Breakfast Club, she makes it clear that she didn't actually want to be on air uh, with four other females. She actually wanted her own show. 
That's what the plan was. And that's, she said that's what the plan was. And then they happened to add these other ladies and say, hey, you know, this is the direction of the show that we're trying to do. We want you to star in it. You're not going to be the only person. It's not going to be just your show, but it's going to be a show for all of these different women of different cultural backgrounds. And would you like to do that? And she accepted it, you know, because something is better than nothing. But it wasn't exactly what she wanted. So when Cookie also states that, you know, she said to her, yo, I, I don't, I don't want to be the, I want to be the only ghetto girl. And she said, uh, that's on the show. It would make sense because she already wanted her own personal show. She don't even want the other three to be there. You know what I mean? She probably just settled for what they could give her and make sure she get her check. Cause you know, this entertainment game, it's a hustle, baby. You know what I mean? So it would make sense for her to move forward with doing the show and getting exposure. And of course they move, move forward with getting awards and everything else. But that alone would make me think, yeah, I mean, she did, did have a motive of reason to what Tamar off the show. And she personally didn't even want nobody on the show but her from the get-go. You know what I mean? So, um, it's, you know, it's, it's quite the subject, you know what I mean? And also, you know, Lonnie decided to cut back a little bit and, uh, she went on social media and made a post in regards to the comics. Well, people are saying this is her, her response to the post, um, regarding to the comments about her purposely, uh, trying to get Tamar fired from the rail, um, which was exposed, okay? Uh, she said, in a in a in a Instagram post, you will never reach your destination if you stop and throw stones at every dog that barks. So she basically is saying that she's gonna stay mum about what was said uh, in regards to her actually helping to get Tamar Bryce to fire, and which was stated by the comedian Cookie Hall. Now you know I'm just gonna sit back and relax and see exactly how this turn of events goes. And you guys comment below. Now, do you really think Lonnie Love got Tamar Bryce to fire from the rail? Do you believe in Cookie? I personally believe Cookie. You guys tell me what you think uh, about this subject. And comment below, okay? Make sure you share. And I'll be back for more. Of course, make sure you guys follow me on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stetcher, and every other place. The DJ J. Erica Podcast is available worldwide. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys comment. Much love. Did the show lose anything with Tamar, you think? I don't think, for me, okay, look, because that's the big elephant in the room. I think everybody's been waiting for us to talk about it. Um, in season one and season two, we were all different, mm -hmm. okay? We didn't really know each other that much. It was a new show. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as I know, I was sitting at a table with a girl named Tamar Braxton. I had just met th these ladies, and I had just met her. My story is this. She was getting to the point where I was at her house one day. This is after Dancing with the Stars, all this other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. She looked at me. She said, hey, I want to get a, a, a new manager. And I was sitting in her kitchen, and she said, you know Rashawn McDonald. Rashawn McDonald is Steve, Steve Harvey's ex-manager. Mm -hmm. When the incident happened when she got fired, I didn't know about it because I went on the Wendy Williams show. Why would I go on a Wendy Williams show? If I knew one of my castmates was going to get fired, 